Hi guys, hey, who on here? Hey, I got a word for you. You know, this morning I woke up in my right mind, I prayed in the spirit, and uh, read a little bit of the word. And I felt great. Took my kids to school, dropped them off, and all was well. And shortly after that, Satan tried to get in my head and tried to bring me to blues. Well, guess what? When you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you, you don't have to worry about nothing because you know what? He's going to help you in situations like that. And what he did was he came and he said, hey man, Satan's trying to steal your joy. But we're not going to let him do that. And he said, you got so much to be grateful for today. God's blessed you in so many ways. But what we're going to do is we're going to box that joker. He said, hey, I got a song for you. It's a song of praise. And it's by Frankie Beverly. And the name of it, I want to thank you. He said, now I want you to do this this morning. I want you to go back and make a reflection of all the things you're grateful and thankful for. And you know what? It's going to bless you. And I thank God for the music that Frankie Beverly made many, many years ago. I still say that's the best music on the face of this earth. But this morning, not just for me, I'm sure for some of you out there too, Satan's always trying to steal your joy, but you can't do that. But you start thanking him. You start thinking about all the things God's done for you. You'll have a world of things to thank him for. And that, when I start thanking God for waking me up, that brings a smile. I thank God for allowing me to have two limbs this morning. That makes me smile. I start thanking God for a loving wife. That makes me smile. And loving children. That makes me smile. I thank God <laughs> for giving me a youth sports ministry to get out here and proclaim the gospel. That makes me smile. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. And I don't care what you go through. You give thanks to God. <laughs> you start thinking about all those things he's done for you. And you'll say, man, he done brought me a mighty long way. We wake up sometimes too often. I do it. I'm guilty of it. And it's like my friend will call in the morning. He said, what's up, man? I said, I'm about to go get this. And he says, get what? I said, well, uh, whatever can be gotten. Well, sometimes we chase stuff, man, like the air, man. It can't be caught, man. Sometimes we just have to slow down, take our foot off the gas and let God drive. And this morning, I think that's what he wanted me to know. He said, listen, what you're running in the office to do, man, I already got this. It's like in basketball. Sometimes, as a basketball player, I remember when I used to hog the ball. We didn't win. We didn't win many games when I hogged the ball. But when I started sharing the ball, guess what? Boom. <laughs> Our shooting average went up. Our team spirit went up. We started trusting each other, and we started winning games. And I think God is speaking to all of us today. He's saying, hey, take your foot off the gas, man. Can I drive a little bit? And let you sit back and reflect on all the things I've done for you that I'm going to continue to do for you because you continue to put your trust in me. So quit trying to run out the door. Talking about all the stuff you're going to do. Can I have a shot at it? Because you can only do so much. You with me? And God in his word, he says, man's extremities are God's opportunities. And so the things that, where we fall short and we think we can go out there and catch it, we can't catch it. We have to give it to the Lord. He's got it. So this morning, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, you and you. I want to thank my wife. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank the people who have sown into my ministry. I want to thank my co-workers here in the gym that get after it with me every day. You guys rock. I want to thank you. We're not going to let this go. We're going to continue to do what God's called us to do. We're going to be unashamed ambassadors for Lord Jesus Christ. And we're going to reconcile those who are lost to Christ. And we're going to give God the praise and glory. Hoop Hunter, signing off.